last build video in this series. In the previous installment, the board was fiberglassed, sanded, and prepped for varnish. So the first task here is going to be applying that varnish. I got the board all cleaned up and moved out of the shop and into my garage where the ventilation is better. I'm using a high quality clear marine varnish for the board and basically followed the instructions provided by the manufacturer. I used the brush and tip method to apply the varnish and I thinned out the first few coats per the instructions on the can. By working in small sections and continuously moving around, it was possible to maintain a wet edge and keep each coat fairly smooth and free of brush strokes. Each coat was allowed to dry and then the entire board was lightly wet sanded before applying the next layer. I won't bore you with endless footage of varnishing, but needless to say, it took a long time to get this step done. Well, I'm done with eight full coats of varnish. It took quite a while because I had to sand in between, let it dry in between, and other things got in the way. So it's now sat for several weeks to completely harden. And now it's ready for the next step, which is polishing out the finish. The finish looks pretty good, but if you look really closely, uh, there's a few ripples, there's a few dimples, there's a little bit of dust that got into the finish because I wasn't doing it in a very clean area. Um, I really don't have that option. So what I'm going to do is, is polish out the finish. And that's going to involve sanding it, wet sanding it actually, all the way up to about 2,000 grit sandpaper. And that will get rid of a lot of the imperfections and it will also somewhat polish the finish and smooth it out. The last steps are going to be polishing it with an orbital sander, uh, some specialized buffing pads, and some polishing compound. I'm going to start the process off by wet sanding with 600 grit sandpaper. I kept a sponge and a bucket of water handy to wipe down each section after sanding as I moved through the sandpaper grits. As I work my way down the board, uh, the other end has been drying, so when it dries I want to have a uniform dull finish. Now looking at this, there's a few spots here that are still a little bit glossy, and that indicates there's a little bit of a lump there. So I'm going to go over it again, uh, just lightly in those areas just to uh, get rid of those spots. So I finished with the wet sanding. I've gone up to 2000 grit over the entire board and it has a little bit of a shine to it but it's still a bit dull. So the next step is going to be to do some machine polishing. I'm using a cutting compound and my orbital sander with a specific buffing pad on it. I worked in sections and kept the buffing pad moving the entire time to avoid any burning. The idea was to bring up the shine but not linger in any area more than necessary. Once finished with the cutting compound, I switched to a polishing compound and a different buffing pad, and then repeated the whole process. This really brought out the shine and produced an almost flawless finish. The task list is almost complete now, so let's get the final assembly done. After a final wipe down of the deck, I threaded some elastic cord through the deck fittings and tied it off. A vent plug was also added. This will allow any air pressure inside the board to equalize with the outside so that no undue stress is put on the structure. All right, I'm getting down to the last few steps uh, before this board is complete. And one thing that I still need to do is put some sort of gripping surface on the standing area of the board. What I'm going to try is this plastic uh, stick-on film. Uh, it's called Versa Traction. So what I've done so far is cut these pieces to shape. I also marked their positions using masking tape and thoroughly cleaned the board surface before sticking the pads down. If these don't work out well for me, I'll be able to peel them off and use another method for deck traction later on. The final part to add is the fin. I made a small metal plate with a threaded hole that sits in the internal channel of the board and allows me to screw down the front edge of the fin. With a few turns of the Allen wrench, this project is finished. Here's the final product.
This may be the last build video in this series, but I hope to make another once I've had a chance to try out the board on the water. The lake is a little cold and solid right now, so stay tuned. Spring is coming. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, thanks for watching.